My name is Derek Thompson, founder of TNT Creative Group. Uh, the topic this month is corporate citizenship, how you can get more involved. We have our corporate development director, Ms. Lynn Perkinson, joining us here. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Excited to be here. Well, Lynn, um, let's start off by telling us, telling our viewers how companies of any size, big or small, should go about maybe defining the initiatives that they want to get behind in, in their community. I know that's something that a lot of companies struggle with. Absolutely. Um, well, the first thing I think that's very important for a company of any size to look at is impact. What impact is it going to have on the community, on locally, nationally, and globally? No matter what size company you are, you can make an impact. And I think it needs to align with your corporate values, your mission, and your vision. Okay, oh, very strong, very strong. Yeah, I don't think a lot of companies, they don't really take the time to, especially you know, the smaller ones, they're not thinking of it in that aspect. They, they just kind of pick something in, you know, out of the air, so to speak, but that's a very methodical, good approach to take that I think a lot of Well, people. even for a small business, Derek, um, I think you, know, you start with the initiative of growing your company and you try to figure out, you know, what can I do to get myself out there to brand myself. Right. Doing corporate citizenship projects and initiatives for a small business is the best branding you can possibly do. Um, you can set a budget, and it doesn't have to be a large budget. Um, it's not a global company, a small budget. Um, and it's very important to pick three initiatives that are important to you and um, what you wanna see grow. And even if you have a few employees, it's extremely important to talk to them um, that way they feel included, um, which they are part of the team, as we are here at TNT Creative Group. Yes. And the, this is very important and it just helps the company be that much more productive when you listen to your employees and listen to what they're passionate about. And these small businesses can utilize corporate citizenship for branding. Um, for, for what they're doing in the community and the positive changes that they are help making. And I would like to point out as well, it's very interesting as millennials are becoming more involved in um, small businesses of their own um, or with other small businesses and um, they have some very different views and, and, and that are, are different from those of us who are more mature and it really um, bides well in, in bringing kind of the young and old together and um, does so much more for um, community initiatives um, and really can help grow into um, you know, national and international impact. Mm -hmm. and that, that's great, great insight, Lynn. And you know, leading into that, how can companies get their employees more involved. I know a lot of companies struggle struggle with that. Um, with some Absolutely. Um, first of all, I'm going to say it's leadership. It comes from the top down. Mm -hmm. um, so your CEOs and directors really need to um, sit, have a committee, get involved, and figure out what they want to do for the communities where their businesses um, are a part. And from that, you've got to get your managers on board. Um, this is for large corporations and small businesses, even if you have a few employees. But you really need to have a manager training program on corporate citizenship. Um, in my experience and what I've learned is if you get your managers involved, you are more likely, um, if you give your employees, you know, an hour and a half time paid yes. to go do a, a mentoring program at your local school, they are going to perform better at work. Right. They, right. it, is, it is amazing, but it's really, really important for management to be trained and know the pro productivity that they can get from their employees by listening to initiatives that they're excited about and want to be involved in um, and getting the managers uh, of companies and corporations to really work with the communications department as you grow your corporate citizenship initiatives. More, more great, great insight. Thank you for that. Now, 
besides being a good corporate citizen, so you know, a lot of companies they want to be a good corporate citizen, want to help help you know, um, their community. We do with TNT Creative Group. Um, but besides that, what are some of the other benefits that come back to help companies as they're getting more involved in the community? Well, as companies become more involved in the community, um, number one, your branding, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, it is really going to set you apart from other companies and corporations. Yeah. So if you are a large global company and you are giving back to the community that you're in and actually making an impact um, you know, nationally and internationally, that's going to give a more positive insight to your consumers. Yeah and that is so important. Um, it also really, once again, your employees. <clears throat> You're gonna have kids coming out of college really wanting to come work for your company right. because you care about the world that you live in um, and you're making an impact. Um, but the productivity of your business, um, it it's just really gives some, some big numbers for businesses who do give back to the community. Okay. Okay. And lastly, I have one more question for you before we get, get you out of here. I know you're busy working on the Universal Playground project, so there's a lot of fundraising that you're doing right now. A lot right of now. fundraising, um, yes. So uh, one last question for you, you know, what are some of the tools and resources that are out there for companies that are trying to raise money, they're trying to determine what a good um, dollar amount is to raise or how much they should ask per company. What, what, what are some good resources and tools out there that you recommend? Absolutely. Um, it's very important for a company, small or large, to measure what they are getting from their um, involvement in corporate citizenship. Um, so there are a lot of input resources on the internet and output resources. Um, there's um, mission measurement, which is online. Okay. You also have true impact. Um, I know larger companies and corporations that have used angel points and um, for their employees, and they use this through their intranet. And I cannot yes. express that enough. Um, even if you're a small business, if you have a newsletter um, that goes to your employees just for them to know what other employees are doing, what's going on, um, but that's a level of measurement, but it measures their, um, you know, the hours that they're putting in. And once you see that as a company at how many volunteer hours or projects being done, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, Angel Points is good. Um, Proving and Improving Toolkit is another method um, and one that I have always used um, and, and we have used is the SROI Excel model and you're able to do that through an Excel spreadsheet which most companies are able to right. utilize. Right. Uh, <laughs> so um, and you're able to keep up with hours, keep up with projects um, and keep up with the, the type of area that the project is in, whether it be environmental, sustainability, um, health, um, safety, uh, and, and you really need to define those as a company. Um, but these are all measurable tools. Um, you know, a, one great insight for me that's a great nonprofit organization tool is Blackboard. And, um, you know, they, you can work with companies like that to, to work with your um, nonprofit initiatives. Those are very handy tools. Uh, thank you for sharing that as well, and all the knowledge that you shared this uh, week. I think this has been been big for our viewers. So, thanks for your time, and thank you for joining us. And uh, I know we'll have you back soon to talk about some other topics. So. Great! I'm all excited. Right. Thank yes, you. Yes, thank you. All right. So if you have any questions um, or want to get involved with any of our initiatives um, in the community, please visit our site at ttcreativegroup.com. We are involved in many many initiatives. Um, we support autism. We have a bolathon um, that's going on right about now uh, for that. We um, support Alzheimer's. Um, we have a camp for kids, Queens of Technology. So there's a lot that you can do to get involved. If you're an individual or a business that wants to team up, reach out to us. Thank you. Lynn Perkinson, Derek Thompson. We'll see you next week.